Are you tired of working for hours to create thumbnails that seem to get absolutely no attention at all? Today, I'm going to share with you five essential elements of creating awesome Christian thumbnails that will not only get you clicks, but they will also leave a lasting impression on all of your viewers. Tip number five is an absolute game changer. So make sure that you stick around for that. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, the first thing you really need to know is that if you want to catch someone's attention, you're going to need eye-catching elements, right? You're going to have to have images that stand out, images that draw them in. Here, here's the truth, right? Whenever they open up YouTube, there's going to be a whole lot of videos that is being offered to them there. They're going to be being recommended videos. If they put in search, they're going to be recommended videos. So yours will be one of many. In order for them to click on yours, you have to draw them in. They don't know how good your video is. They they can't tell how good your video is, how much time you put into it, how perfect you've made everything, all the stuff that you've done in it. They can't see all that. So your title and your thumbnail are of the utmost importance. So how do we get eye-catching images? Do we go search Google? Do we go in and just steal other people's stuff from Google? No, we don't. What we do is we go over here to Copilot right here. This is GPT-4. And I'm using the Bing web browser in order to do that. So what you'll do here is you will actually just put here in the prompt what you want. This is the most easy and uncomplicated. Now, you do need to make sure that your prompts are correct, but these will be images that no one's ever seen because they're being generated right now as we speak. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and put in here. You, you tell it exactly what you're doing, right? So I'm going to say I'm creating a YouTube tutorial about creating awesome Christian thumbnails. Please generate an image that would accurately convey exactly what my video is about. Please make it hyper realistic and use the rule of thirds. Now, if you're wondering what the rule of thirds is, it's very, very, very important, right? And I'm going to get to that in a little while. We're going to get to that step, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean whenever I say use the rule of thirds, but it is very important that you use the rule of thirds in your thumbnails. It's very important that these images stand out in a way that draws the viewer's eyes to exactly what you want their eyes to be drawn to. Apart from that, they're just going to do something different. Now, look at these are the, the uh, results that we received. I mean, these are pretty awesome, actually. I, I really, really like that one right there. But you see how awesome these are? You, you're never going to find anything like that searching Google. You're just not, right? Unless they've done this and then uploaded it to Google. You might as well just tell it exactly what you're doing, right? So I, I want to check this one out. This one looks pretty neat. Let's see what that's all about. So as we go through these steps, I want you to watch how it unfolds because there's a lot of psychology that's behind it. Like the reason why I would use this one, the rule of thirds is, is beautifully illustrated here, right? Um, I think I'm going to actually download this one. But that's not the only one I'm going to download. So let's go back. And I'm also going to get, I think, this one right here. That one's nice, too, though, man. They're, they're all nice. It, it did a really good job of doing this uh, at this point. It really, really did. So let's just have a look at this one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download it, too, as soon as it finishes processing. Because I think that's absolutely amazing looking. Right? It really, 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 truly is. So, I want to go back again, and I'm going to go and get uh, this one as well. The other one is okay, but it's nothing like these right here, right? These right here are pretty amazing. So, we're going to go ahead and go with these three right here, and we're going to go and see what to do with them, right? So, I'm going to show you. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, man, that picture, that image is nowhere near large enough for a thumbnail. What would I do for the rest, right? If you don't have Canva, let me explain to you right now that now is the time for you to go and download Canva. You need it right now. So push pause, download Canva, and get ready, okay? So we're going to go ahead and go to Canva. I, I absolutely have Canva. I use the pro version. You don't have to use the pro version. Um, I would suggest it. And no, they're not paying me. Uh, I just know that. In everything that I do, every video that I create, every overlay that I build, I use Canva, and you will too 
uh, the further you go along. Trust me on this. You will absolutely love Canva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to create a design. I'm going to go down here to YouTube thumbnail. Now, the reason mine says YouTube thumbnail right there is because I use it all the time. Yours may not say YouTube thumbnail right there. Um, so you definitely, if it does not, just scroll down. You'll find it or type in the search YouTube thumbnail. It'll bring it up for you. Now, let's go to uploads. And I'm going to go to upload files. Right? And I'm going to grab, whoa, 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 where are they at? Okay, I'll take this one for now. For some reason, it did not completely download my other ones, and I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this in the middle. So you'll see that I put this right in the middle of my screen. I'm going to drag that up to where it locks. You'll see it when it pops in. When it pops in, good, right? Now, we're going to move it until it lines up. See how it lined up right there in the middle? You see that? Okay, that's very good. That's exactly what we are looking for. Now, you're going to go right here, and you're going to click Edit Image. It's going to be right here. Edit image. And you're going to go to Magic Expand right here so you can see it. Click on Magic Expand. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out to here. Then I'm going to take this side and I'm going to drag it to here, right? And now I'm just going to simply hit Magic Expand. And now watch how Canva expands this to where it covers the entire area. Right, it's going to give us multiple options that we can use, and it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. The vast majority of everything that we're going to do in this tutorial is going to be done in Canva, because as I said before, Canva is where it is at. Now, I'm not sure that I like this one. I mean, I do. I like I like the rocks and stuff like that. That's pretty neat. I don't like that one because it's coming out of the cave. I mean, it's kind of cool, but not really. That one's okay. That one's okay, but you know what? We're going to go with this first one. I really like this first one a whole lot, so I'm just going to click Done. Now, so now we absolutely have eye-catching images, right? These images are beautiful. It's beautiful, and it stands out. When people see that, they're going to be drawn to that. It's eye-catching. It stops them in their tracks. They see that, and they think, wow, that's awesome looking, right? So now the next thing is we need clear text overlays. That is number two, clear text overlays because what you're going to need to do is you'll click right here on text let me show you where that's at even though i already clicked it click on text and then just click add a heading right so we're going to take our heading and we're going to put it up here and in fact you know what let's leave it in the middle just for now uh, until we type this in so let's go uh i'm going to name this video create awesome christian thumbnails if i could type this morning man we'd be doing the world of good i'm telling you man I'm, I'm just blowing it left and right here so what i want to do is i want to put this in this spot right here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on effects you see it right here very good but i'm also going to click on text color so i want my text color to be white why white? Because it stands out on the background. You need the text to be clear. You need to be able to read the text. Now, even now, that's still not clear enough. It's kind of obscured, right? So remember I said we were going to click on effects right here? We're going to click on effects. We're going to go to outline right here. Just click on outline. Now, it, it started off as gray because what it's trying to do is use the colors that are already in the image. We don't want to do that, though. We're going to go to black because black always stands out you're going to want to click down here let's bring the thickness up into a point where there we go now you see how see how that stands out off of the back of the uh the background it just it just pops right out at you you need it to pop right out at the person right you've got to have it pop out they need to see that and they need to know what this video is saying and this is what this video is and it shows the awesome thumbnail in the background and it also says that I'm going to show you how to create awesome Christian thumbnails and the thumbnail itself is proof that I know how right the thumbnail itself is proof that I know how and whatever you're doing you need to try to make sure that the thumbnail says you can do exactly what you say that you can do apart from that you're going to be stuck my man so now what we want to do is we want to add a subheading right here right so we're gonna put a subheading in step by step guide to thumbnail 
creation. Now, again, we're going to go back to effects. Remember, it's right here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to outline it. We're going to take the outline. We're going to make the outline black. We're going to move down there. And we're going to bring up the thickness of the outline so that it stands out. And we're going to put it right here at the bottom, right? So now we can see exactly what's going on here, right? So now what I want to do is I want to take this image and I want to export it. I'm going to download this image in PNG format, right? I'm going to download it. And once it's downloaded, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab it. And see, I can just grab it from there and just drag it straight over here. And I'm going to upload it again. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete everything that's in here because we are not done. Now we're going to bring the new one in that I've, I've created with the, uh, with the words on it. Now, while it already looks great, we're going to scroll down here. We're going to go to Pixel Enhancer. And we're going to click on that, and we're going to go Enhance Selected Image. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring it up. It's going to make it even more detailed, even more beautiful than what it already was, right? So just give that a few seconds for that to go through. Um, this is an amazing way to create thumbnails that absolutely stand out. Now, now that it's done, we're going to go ahead and click Replace. And it's going to kind of pixelate for a second. But now, wait till you see how it looks. Look at that, man. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely amazing. Now, that brings us to step number three. You want to create curiosity, right? So if I want curiosity, I guess induced in the person who, who's looking at the, the thumbnail, I want to go back over here and I want to add more text. Let's scroll back up, more text. I'm going to add a subtitle, a subheading, and I'm going to bring it right over here. And I'm going to put these five steps will change your YouTube experience. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on effects. We'll click on outline. And you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and stick with the, the same thing. We're going to make them white and black this time, right? So now it's outlined in white with the black inside. We'll make the thickness just a little bit thicker because we really want it to stand out. And we will set it right here in a way that it, fits where it's at you could even put it in the middle if you wanted to right there and now one more time we're going to add another heading uh oh wrong one sorry i need a subheading and i'm going to bring it over here and i'm going to go ahead and say ah, what should i say here these five steps will change your youtube experience uh, get more clicks and get more clicks and more views. So now we're going to bring that right here. We're going to stick it right there. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to effects. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to outline, but this time we're going to outline it in white. Again, we're going to bring this down like this and we're going to bring up the thickness like so. And we're going to drop it right here where it falls in. Get more clicks and views. So now I've, I've pushed in them a desire to click on this because they all, obviously, they want to know how to create awesome Christian thumbnails. They want to know these five steps, these same five steps that you and I are going through right now. And they want to get more clicks and views. And then at the bottom, I tell them point blank, this is a step-by-step -step guide to thumbnail creation. So what we have done here is we have brought around everything that's necessary to make them want to view this video. They want to see what I'm doing in here, right? Just like, obviously, you clicked on this same, very same thumbnail. And I do this with this thumbnail that I'm creating right now because I want you to see that this is what drew you in for you to click, and I'm showing you that this is how you can draw others in to click as well. But when you draw them in the click, I want you to make sure that you provide the value. I mean, I would hope that you would say that I'm providing you the value that I promised you, right? I'm showing you how to do this step by step, and it's quite simple. And now you will have the ability to go and, and copy what I am doing and, and do it yourself, right? I mean, that's absolutely the truth, right? So the next thing that you need is consistent branding. 
right? So I'm going to go ahead and go to uploads. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to get my brand. And if you don't have a brand, you obviously need to get one. We're going to pull this in there, right? Now you notice, say, whoa, man, look at that big old white background, man. That looks like garbage, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to pixel enhancer first. I'm going to enhance the selected image because I want it to look a little bit better than that. It doesn't look very good to me. So I want to go ahead and enhance it the same way that we did earlier with the other one. It's the same exact thing, right? So now we're going to go ahead and replace it. It will look a whole lot better. There we go. Now we're going to click up here on edit image and we're going to go to background remover. Remember edit, edit image is right here. Now you're going to want to go to background removal right here. And it will remove the background. Now you see there? Now, of course, I'm not going to leave it that big, guys. Come on, don't, don't act like I, I don't know what I'm doing here, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that there. Now I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to pull the other one to the other side, right? And what I've done is I've closed in my step-by-step -step guide to thumbnail creation with two stopping points or two spacers, You would like I would like to call them. Right, that between Holy Spirit Power 121 and Holy Spirit Power 121, it shows that you will receive a step-by-step -step guide to thumbnail creation. You want to consistently brand all of your stuff. You want your brand to be known when someone sees your thumbnail. They need to know that it is you. Does that make sense? So, um, this brings us to number five, thumbnail composition. Now, this is by far the most important of all these things this is the most important right your thumbnail composition is going to deal with planning visual appeal the rule of thirds and strategic use of text and graphics right so that's what we've done i've shown you the step number five by doing it but now i want to explain it to you so create awesome christian thumbnails right so you notice where this is if I were to make a grid, the grid would be something like this. It would go down right here. It would go down right here. It would go across right here and across right here. Now, what you're going to want is something that's in this grid line because that's where the eye goes. What do I have there? Right there in the middle of the grid, these five steps will change your YouTube experience. What do I have here? Right in the middle of the grid, get more clicks and views, right? Of course, they look at the, the center first. We have the picture of Jesus there, right? The top and the bottom of the grid are what this thumbnail or what this video is absolutely about, right? Create awesome Christian thumbnails, step-by-step -step guide to thumbnail creation. These are the places that the person's eyes are going to go. I could have lined Jesus up right here and done everything over here and, and just put some other stuff in there. But you need to make sure that you are using the rule of thirds. If you are not using the rule of thirds, you will not draw attention. You need these people's attention. If you do not get them to stop, look at it and say, okay, in this case, right, he's talking about creating awesome thumbnails. And what I'm looking at is an awesome thumbnail. It means he knows what he's talking about, and he's going to show me how to do it. The rule of thirds leads him straight there. It says these five steps will change your YouTube experience, get more clicks and more views. And here it is, the complete composition. You're going to just click right there. You're going to go to download. You're going to let it load real quick. You're going to push download. And there it is, guys. We have our thumbnail. Our thumbnail is done, and we can move on to the next phase, right? Which would be actually would be going to CapCut. So once we're on CapCut, you'll see this is the intro that you've seen earlier. I would bring the video that I just created into here. So there you have it. I hope this has been informative. I hope that it has been helpful, and I hope that you actually learned something from it. Remember, when you're implementing these five principles, make sure that your composition is absolutely in order. Make sure that your text stands out. Make sure that there's a contrast between the background color and the color of your text so that the text seems to be popping off of the page at, at the viewer. Also, remember to use the rule of thirds. It's extremely important that you use the rule of thirds, just as important as making sure that the text is easily readable because if they can't read it, they're just going to click on something else, man. So as you're doing these things and as you practice these things, it will come to you. 
It, it'll go so much more smoothly with the little practice. Remember, get the Bing browser is free. I'm linking it in the in the description. Remember to get Canva. It is also free. I'm linking it down in the description as well. So I thank you guys. If you would, please give me a thumbs up down there. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys. I love you guys. And until next time I see you, hey, stay prayed up.